guys, today I wanted to film a video for you all about how I got this silver gray hair. Now, I have been really frustrated trying to find a video online about how to get this color at home because little tiny backstory, it's gonna be quick because I wanna get right into the tutorial because I hate it when people have a really, really long intro. I went and got my hair done professionally at a salon to get it blonde, so I did not do that myself at home. First, let me just say. So I went up to a salon, I got it done, and it turned this perfect shade of gray. It was literally the best shade of gray. It was so perfect, there was not one bit of warmth to it at all. Within like about four or five days, it already started turning warm because the undertones of my hair started coming out. So I asked the guy who did my hair, I said, how can I maintain this color at home? He told me, get the Wella 7 slash 89, mix it one to two dry hair, leave it on for 20 minutes. One part Wella, two parts developer, six volume is what he told me. Leave it on for 20 minutes and it'll maintain the gray. I did it and it came out a brownish gray and I was like, what the fuck? So then I did it again thinking I did it wrong and it came out even more brownish gray. And when I say brownish gray, it was brown. People were like, why'd you dye your hair brown after you did it gray? I'm like, I didn't. I did it again and again and again and I was like, you know what, screw this. It's not working. It's not me. It's I'm not doing something wrong. I'm doing exactly as stated. So I stripped out the brown using a vitamin C. Now I just took the vitamin C capsules apart into a bowl, um, mixed in a bunch of clarifying shampoo, put it on my hair, really worked it in, washed it into semi-damp hair, and then put a cap on it, left it on for about an hour, and then took it off and it stripped my hair to this color. So it went from the pretty gray color that I wanted from the salon to this brown after I toned it myself at home with what he suggested, to then I stripped it out with vitamin C and shampoo to this golden color. And then I said, you know what, screw this. I want gray hair. I didn't pay all that money so that I could have yellow golden hair. Granted, it looked decent on me, but it's not what I wanted. It's like if you were to go to the salon and you wanted blue hair, it came out black and the black looked great, but you wanted blue. To get this gray color that I have right here, this is the Wella 050. So I'll tell you exactly the steps that I did. I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I purchased 20 volume developer and the Wella T14. Now that's like a silver toner. What I did for that is because I had such a golden undertone to my hair that I took the 20 volume developer and the Wella T14. I took the T14, I poured it into a bowl, one part Wella T14 to two parts 20 volume developer. And I put that on my hair for about 15 minutes. That just toned down a bit of the brassiness. I left it on for not very long because all I wanted it to do was just take away a little bit of the brassiness before I put the 050 on it. Now the 050 on the back you're going to see looks like a color additive. It says color additive on it and it says that it's not a toner. Don't listen to that. It does work if you use it like a toner. I got mine from Amazon and it just took a few days to ship. Put that in a bowl and um, then it's one to two as well. So one part toner to two parts 20 volume developer. Left it on for about 20 minutes and this is the color I was left with. It is very silver. It is not warm toned at all. It's a very gray hair color. My hair had to be very light underneath this so I had to go to a salon and get it fully lightened to a very blonde color. Um, but you can see the golden color I put it over was able to achieve this gray color. So it doesn't have to be white to have this, but if you had white, it would definitely look more sil like a lighter silver, silvery white color than this darker gray. This camera pulls a lot darker than it really looks in real life. It's a lot lighter looking in real life than it looks on camera. That's as simple as it was. That's the way that I did this at home. Because that Wella 7 slash 89, it's like a dye versus a toner, which both toner and dye are very similar. They're the same. They're both depositing color. That, it just didn't work the same. It, it just, it left my hair so dull looking, and I feel like this will be easier to maintain. Plus, you can just buy it right on, it's, if your Sally's carries a 050, great. If it doesn't, then you can just get it on Amazon, and it was as simple as that. I hope this was fast enough for you, and I thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me, I put out all kinds of videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday most every. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope. All my social media links are Raw Beauty Christy, otherwise they're in the description of this video. If you want a tutorial on this makeup look, it should either be up soon or already up. If it is already up, I will try to link it in the description of this video. If it's not, well then just subscribe, keep an eye out, and it will be up soon. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye.